Almost a decade ago when Bunny from Ye Jawani Hai Diwani traveled the world alone, we were all quite fascinated. Although the idea appealed to most of us, only a few did manage to travel solo. That was because despite being motivated, responsibilities stopped us from taking that leap. While this idea seemed far fetched a decade ago, it is gaining momentum now. It's not that our beloved Bunny was a visionary. It's just that the times have changed. In recent times, 77% of people are traveling solo to experience the thrill of seeing the world. How has this become a trend more recently as compared to the previous family vacations or traveling with friends? Let's have a look. Why solo travel is now the number one travel trend post COVID? The appeal. The need for solo traveling pre existed on a subconscious level. Traveling with groups meant you needed to abide by the rules of the group. It also restricted the exploration of the paths you wanted to see. The attraction towards solo travel has increased substantially post the pandemic. Since the restrictions have been uplifted, people want an escape. Hence, the need for solo traveling resurfaced. However, not everyone is on the same page regarding this. This has motivated people to not wait for others. Moreover, the idea of exploring the unknown all by yourself is quite exciting. Such a trip also ensures self growth as you meet people around you, gain knowledge from them, and understand their culture. It is also one of the most effective tools to achieve mental peace via hiking, biking, climbing, or trekking. Helps people connect more with nature. Apart from this, the joy of telling stories of your travels once you come back is boundless. Cost effectiveness. In the quest for finding yourself, more experiments on food and accommodation are being done. People's choices have become more individualistic. They prefer staying in hostels or guest houses instead of fancy hotels. This makes your travel very cost effective. Zostel, Hostel World, Airbnb are few players in providing such options. Also, your accountability is your own. It makes you more responsible. Since the reasons and advantages of traveling solo are clear in people's minds, Another peculiar trend which is gaining a lot of attention is being a digital nomad. A digital nomad means that one keeps traveling while earning money through remote work. Considering this as one tempting prospect in the wake of COVID would not be an understatement. Digital nomads are slow travelers. They stay in one place for a long period of time. Hence, they prefer staying at places which give a homely feel. This is the reason that there has been a 26% hike in bookings of such places. Various countries also have understood the lucrative benefits these solo travelers can bring. Hence, digital nomad visas are also rolled out for people to become residents for this specific purpose. Bali offers five years of stay without paying taxes. Traveling solo has never been trendier, but there are a few things which can ruin your traveling experience. The first concern is safety. Safety and well-being for oneself are very important. Otherwise, in an unknown land, there can be people around to take disadvantage of you. We tend to feel more like an individual and tend to lose grip on our social circle. This gets quite disheartening in the long run. Therefore, if one tends to travel solo, thorough research of the place is quite essential. It is also important to make friends along the journey, which gives you a sense of security. Sure, this kind of travel comes with a little bit of risk. The question is, is it worth it? Well, you can only get its answer only after trying.